Welcome to Rehash, on the internet where old news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Welcome to Rehash, where nothing on the internet is news to us, and where we bring you the best and the worst of what is happening today. Thank you so much to Tippet, who provided our intro. If you'd like to do the same, link in the description to where you can introduce us for a chance at a meaningful spotlight. So I've got a newsy type, whatever you've got one too. Uh, yeah. What's yours? I want to talk about the new Batman. If you didn't know, Batman was released within the last sort of couple of days. And uh, they're, they're in a bit of strife, they're in a bit of trouble. Cool. And I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family, and of course you, about the Dollar Beard Club. Because this is a story I couldn't really talk about with Zach, because doesn't fit the bill. People just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, tell us more about Batman. Hey guys, Potato here, editor of the show, taking over for the guys, because uh, unfortunately, while they did talk about the game, they got a few things inaccurate, as in terms of, like, who developed Arkham Knight, and uh, what, the, what the actual problems with the game were, so I thought I'd step in as a hardcore gaming enthusiast, and as a member of the PC Master Race, to just kind of clarify certain things, and get the story right. Um, so, essentially, the big controversy is that the game doesn't perform well on PC, which is... It's, it's quite sad because a lot of people in anticipation for what otherwise seems like an amazing game uh, pre-ordered the game like in droves on Steam. Um, everyone was really looking forward to it. I mean, how can you go wrong? A great Batman game voiced with Kevin Conroy, the original cartoon Batman. It's, it's, it's a winning formula. The problem is that on PC, the game is capped at 30 frames per second and it's not even like a consistent frame rate. It drops really often. If you look at anyone who's done kind of like a let's play on a PC, because on consoles it seems to you know work relatively well, it's just there's, there's stuttering everywhere. And this doesn't really make sense. A lot of people at first would think, hey, why don't you just get a better graphics card? Well, that's not the issue. There are people with top of the line PCs playing this game and it's just, it's not working. And it's kind of unacceptable in this day and age that AAA developers are releasing broken games like something as obvious as a huge frame rate issue on a game should be something that their quality control teams should be detecting before releasing the game now what adds to the story is that recently steam started doing refunds so people now can refund their game if they've played under two hours or a few other things but that's basically the gist of it. if they if they don't like the game they can get a full refund a lot of people have been returning their games and this has prompted rocksteady to basically admit that they've released a poor product and hopefully they'll patch it but still it's 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 frustrating because there are many editions of the game that are, you know, $100 and there's a lot of money that people have been in investing in. What this has taught a lot of people is A, never pre-order games, like never ever pre-order games, and B, to use things like the Steam refund policy to essentially tell developers, like, look, we want good games that actually function. If we're going to chalk up 60 to 100 plus dollars for a game, the least that we should hope for is that the game is actually functional, which it isn't. But at least with the with the refund policy, people can now put their foot down and hopefully this will incentivize AAA developers to want to quality check the heck out of every title that they release. Anyways, I've been blabbing on for way too much. Back to the guys. Take care. Um, on to the Dollar Beard Club. Um, it seems like they are going directly after two separate markets with this ad. Um, this ad uh, displays a, a man, a manly man with a with a nice beard, and um, he's the whole ad kind of reminds me of like the Axe body spray ads, where it's just basically like use our product and get women. But it's also going after like the Dollar Shave Club like uh, market, uh, which I, I think is awesome. I like the marketing aspect of this. I also found the ad to be hilarious. If you'd like to check out the whole ad, uh, link is in the description down below. The only thing that was missing was unicorns. Unicorns? Uh, old Spice. Yes, yes. <laughs> we just need to get Terry Crews to do all ads from now on. Yeah. I guess now it's time to talk about the comments. First comment comes from the Aim Games, who's become kind of a rock star here on uh, Rehash for providing very insightful and uh, thought-provoking comments. He says that, uh, and this is on George's video about higher CPMs during the summer months, and specifically, uh, 
<laughs> Specifically, dealing with um, the end of the financial quarters because the end of every financial quarter is when CPMs get a little bit higher because people are spending their ad budget budgets. He says that, uh, to be honest, he always forgets that he makes money on YouTube. He enjoys making content so much that he, he kind of slips his mind that he even makes money until he needs to make get your buy game bucks. Steve. That's very smart. I wish that was something I did. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I did all like the entire time I was running my gaming channels. Um, is basically just kind of sat on it until I needed to buy lighting or uh, a new graphics card or, or games or whatever. So like, especially with the timing of Steam summer sales and higher CPMs, like that's yeah. usually really nice. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, I wish I, that was something I thought of. I just sort of tend to. Spend it as soon as they come in on something. Hey, you know what? Fair enough. Now, I uh, wanted to talk to you about Tibbet, who is our uh, spotlight of the day. Well, do you mind if I talk about the comment? Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, we should. Uh, that was very rude of me. <laughs> yeah, please. Well, the, the comment was on the, the, I think it was the, the rehash video with the, the cat and the flying motorbikes and, and oh, stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this. this person just happens to be like very sort of close to me uh, as in it was me who made the comment I just thought it was something funny to, to throw in uh, and the comment was uh, you know I can confirm that this is their voices they're not like just putting on something for for the show uh, they actually really do talk like that in real life it's their normal voice they both have radio voices it's uh, it's just a luxury that these guys have uh, it's actually kind of a curse more than anything to, to be honest with you like I get it all the time, people over the phone, people, you know, it, it seems like I can't really talk to strangers without getting like, oh, you sound like you belong on the radio or TV, and I'm like, thanks, again. Be making YouTube videos, that's kind of where... And, and, and that's true, it, it does come in handy. All right, let's go ahead and talk about Mr. Tippett. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tippett, who provided our intro. Um, he has a channel where he does like World of Tanks and all kinds of uh, gaming content. And we have a couple of pieces of advice for Mr. Tibbet, but before we get into that, I want you to go check out his channel linked in the description, and I want you to spam his re most recent video with hashtag rehash. Um, and just basically just, yeah, show him some love and the freedom of family and whatnot. I always feel like the wiggles when I say in the description down below, it's always like, they're international, they're No. I worked in schools for like 10 years. I'm not sure which part scares me. <laughs> <laughs> so Tippett has made a very interesting decision on his channel. He is featuring some playlists, but I personally don't feel enough. Looking at here, I think it's just uploads and popular, popular uploads. It's kind of yeah. almost the same like, thing. I, I kind of feel like uh, he should be showcasing more of his content. Um, his thumbnails are okay, not necessarily the best. Uh, sometimes the text isn't really uh, very legible, it's hard to read sometimes. Um, but that's not even the biggest problem here. And I, I chose him specifically today because I wanted to talk about um, the, re the featured versus recommended or uh, related channels. Yeah. Um, YouTube allows you to uh, show related channels on your YouTube channel. Um, and they do this as a trade-off. If you show others, others have the chance of showing you if they have similar content. Um, and he's chosen to take that off or remove that. And honestly, for a smaller YouTuber, I think that's a really bad decision. Well, I think for any YouTuber, it's a bad decision. Like, unless you get lucky with a big breakout video or some super huge channel will hold your hand and sort of grab you up, collaboration is the key. Hard work consistent, but collaboration is... It also goes beyond just actually working with people. Like, yes. you don't have to, you know, you don't have to even know someone for a feature like this to help you collaborate with others. Good point. Okay. There's, a, there's a chance you may end up on PewDiePie's related channels if he has it on, but yeah. Please, like, please, yeah. Please, please. It's a good thing to have it on. It, it's, me personally, it's never think of it as you, someone stealing your subscribers or you're stealing their subscribers. Uh, the people that, that come from you from other channels will always watch the main one where they come from. For those of you that are curious, I was joined today by Sata TV not just so that we could talk about manly beard things, but also because Zach, uh, Zach decided to get sick today because that was a conscious choice. 
So, um, but yeah, let us know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more of Santa TV when, uh, when Zach needs a day off or maybe when I need a day off. So let us know down there. Because uh, 700 videos deep on my channel. He's awesome. <laughs> all right, well, anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs, and be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, See for you guys. Family.